Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install an electronic boost controller in your 1.6 liter Miata. Uh, first what you have to do is you need to locate a pin to use. In my case I'm using uh, 2K. This is actually 4K referenced on your DIY plug and play, uh, but 2K is the pin. Uh, next what you're going to do is you're going to locate whichever pin inside the uh, DIY plug and play that you want to use. Uh, I used PAO in this uh, situation. Here is the uh, wiring schematic for the Miata. If you have an automatic transmission, please disregard this. Uh, if you're manual, it's fine. Uh, this is something you should probably pause and look over and read a little bit closer. This is to help you not blow up your car. <laughs> so uh, definitely pay attention to these settings. Here's my boost target table. Uh, this works for me, uh, about 12 to 13 PSI. I hit boost cut every now and then. Uh, it's, it's a rough guesstimate. It'll get you moving at least. The rest of this is just uh, for entertainment purposes. Uh, I'm going to step you through a little bit on how to wire this up yourself. Uh, it's You could do it multiple different ways. This is just how I approached it. Uh, it's not too difficult to do, but you could mess a few things up if you did it wrong. I, I don't think you'll actually break or uh, destroy your mega squirt doing this, but uh, weirder things have happened. So first you take the four screws out, then you uh, of course take out the circuit board. This has got the uh, micro squirt module on it. Don't forget to plug in your soldering iron. So this is the back side of the uh, the plug and play. What you're going to want to do is uh, locate the boost control uh, chip. I'll point it out here. There you go. Next what you're going to do is uh, locate where you're going to go run from. This is 4K going over to boost control out and then boost control in going to PAO and that's how you're gonna wire it so if you want just uh, sit back relax and watch me solder this stuff in